Well, a lot of the issues about the RTI situation is very, very similar to what a lot of the visible learning work is. In fact, one of my frustrations with RTI is it's often only used with kids that have got special designations. It actually works with every kid. And in terms of the actual models, yeah, I'm reasonably blended in how I look at them because I'm not a great fan of saying this particular method, the formative assessment side of it, um, particular instructional procedure side of it is what really makes a difference. I want flexibility in the teachers to ask themselves constantly, how do I know my impact? How do I know it's working? And if it is working, to continue it. If it's not, to change it. So I'm not wedded to one particular way of implementing the RTI model. What I like about the RTI model, again, it comes back to how we think. The RTI is always looking about the response to the intervention and then making adaptations and changes alike, in light of that. And that's exactly what the visible learning notions are. And so you know, it's no surprise that the impact, the effect size from that is quite high because it's a way of thinking. It's if we're teaching and things aren't working, we change what we do. We don't come up with explanations why kids can or can't. And that's the beauty of the RTI model.